Hey guys, before this video starts, if you do like animations, be sure to subscribe to my new animation channel, Mess Yourself Animations, guys. We are going to be making all sorts of animations this year in 2020. We just launched and we just posted our second video, guys. I'm so excited to be posting more animations on my animation channel, but if I am going to do that, I need you guys' support, okay? So go over there and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when we upload and new animation guys all right all right so thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> hello everyone how is everyone doing in this mesh yourself here today we are checking out my story animated now we've made loads of videos reacting to these dumb animations guys so let's watch a hashtag relatable story i got stuck in the trunk of my mom's car and saw everything oh my god she saw everything like she totally didn't see anything before but now she saw everything i was walking to the kitchen at uh -huh. 2 a.m. to get a glass of water. Oh my god, so relatable when you have to get water at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, water's been there for like weeks. When I heard my brother and uh. stepmom whispering, Ugh. I hid behind the kitchen closet and uh. listened to them talking. Ugh. Okay, let me guess. Incest, all right. It isn't an animation story if it doesn't have just a little bit of incest. Come on now, guys. I hid behind the kitchen closet and listened to them talking. This plan is going to work. Oh my god. I just feel it in my bones. Oh my god. Did you remember to leave the letter? Oh my god. Yep. They'll never know what hit them. Let's what? go. Grab the car keys. What? I followed them to the garage and hid behind the door. Okay. I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't, didn't want them to see me. Oh my they god. started packing things into the car. It was very weird. Very weird. <laughs> What's weird about packing things in a car? <laughs> I guess it's weird at 2 a.m. <laughs> it was very weird. It was very weird. They went inside the house oh to God. get more stuff. They get my I stuff. sneaked into the garage. And I sneaked. I snuck into the garage. I sneaked into the garage snuck. and quietly opened the trunk to see what's in there. Ooh. When suddenly, I heard them coming back. Uh -oh. And without thinking, I jumped uh -oh. in the trunk of the car. What? It was the only place I could hide. Uh, wh why, why are you hiding? And without thinking, I jumped in the trunk what? of the car car who it was the only place i could hide jump i wanted to wait for them to car. leave but then i could hear them getting into this car and, and starting obviously. the engine oh, oh my goodness whatever their plan was it wasn't worth me being stuck in the trunk oh my i started God. yelling as loud as i could oh my God. just as i was about to take a deep <laughs> breath to scream even louder i heard my stepmother casey say did you hear oh. something I what? thought I heard your sister's annoying voice. What? Imagine what? if she ever found out about this. Oh my god, she found out of this, but then she's gonna see everything. She would expose us to the world. Oh my god. Don't worry, Casey, Don't said worry, my brother. Casey, if Haley brother. ever found out, we would take care of her, just like what? we took care of that dumb secretary of my dad. What? Oh, geez, are they gonna buddy kill me? What the shit? I held my breath. I, I held... couldn't <gasps> let them know I was in there. I started to <laughs> I was holding your br breath. <laughs> gonna <laughs> gonna prevent them seeing you. You were screaming a second ago. Ooh. I started to panic. Oh my god. They were up to no good. Time to make, make a trouble in the neighborhood. neighborhood. I know I never had the best relationship with the oh two of them, but oh I couldn't god. believe that they would hurt me. Oh my god. I had so many questions. So what did they do to my dad's secretary? Yeah, what <laughs> What did they do? I needed to find out their I secret. Out. Oh my God. And just like that, I <laughs> ended up stuck in the trunk of their getaway car. Oh my God. I could hear them laughing and singing <laughs> along to songs on the radio, <laughs> as if nothing was going on. Well, nothing is going on. I, I, well, for them, not for you, though. <laughs> we drove for hours on end. Jeez. Luckily, I was wearing a watch my dad gave me for my birthday. Yeah, where's it your phone? It had a GPS system on it, so what? I could see where we were going. Where's your they phone? They were driving miles away from from our hometown. Where were they heading? Okay, wait. For those smart watches, you need it to connect to your phone. It doesn't just have internet by itself. All right, what kind of smart ass watch is this? Can you get a watch like that that just has internet? Pretty sure it connects to your phone, which has internet. And if it has the internet, then she has a phone. Why is she calling anyone? I managed to tear a little piece of fabric and what? some foam from one of the back seats. What? I could peer through the little hole in the back seat to observe what was happening in the car. <laughs> Nothing. Casey was driving. A few hours um, later and right. 300 miles miles away from home. What? I was starving and my what? legs felt numb. Oh my god. I had god. a piece of candy in my back pocket that I sucked on for 10 minutes. Oh yes. Yeah, Another on. hour passed <laughs> and I really had to go to the toilet. Uh, I desperately wanted to get out of this tight space. Uh, I was biting on my lip. I really had to wee. Don't do it. <laughs> I really had to wee. I really had to wee. I really had to Where wee. Where was I going to go? <laughs> 
Luckily, there was a plastic bottle. Oh. I took it and used it. Oh. It was so gross and difficult to manage, Ugh. but I felt relieved afterwards. Damn, guys. All right. Have you, uh, have any of you uh, ever pissed in a bottle before? <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't lie. All right. We all have. Okay. I mean, I could be pissing in a bottle, uh, you know, right now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw on my GPS watch that we were approaching a gas station. Casey slowed down. Time to stretch legs and get some food, she Time said. Time to stretch legs. Through the hole, I could see them getting out of the car. I wanted to get out. Uh, yeah, if get out. If only I had a metal cutter or hammer, I could break out. If only. With the two of them gone, I tore at the seat. Oh. I tried to remove as much foam and seat cover as I possibly could Jesus in order Christ. for me to see and hear better. I did it in such a way that they couldn't oh see me, but what? I could see them. What? Casey and my brother got back in the car. I could oh. smell their food. Oh. Casey didn't finish her fries, McDonald's? and she placed them on the back seat. I, love I carefully reached out and grabbed her fries. <laughs> it was the best tasting fries ever. <laughs> I was so tired and completely covered in sweat. Okay, I fell asleep. Happen? I only woke oh. up when the car came to a standstill. Stand We've stand. been driving for more than 12 hours. Oh my god! It was so cold as it was already dark. My watch said that we were near the ocean at a harbor. What oh. the hell were they doing here? What the hell are they doing here? I could hear here? men's voices approaching the car. One man with a deep voice Great. said, Do you have the payment? Do you have the Through payment? Through the hole, I could see Casey handing him a big envelope. Oh! Yes, it's all there. You can count. Dang. I could hear the guy counting the money. The money? $20,000. $20,000? Then Jimmy finally what? said something. Okay, uh, here is my dad's phone number. He's probably still at work. So give him some time to get home and discover we are gone before what? you make the call. Oh my God, are they gonna fake a kidnapping? <laughs> but why did you give him $20,000 up front? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're gonna extort him for more money? Is the dad rich or something? The men agreed. I could the hear loud agreed. motorbikes roaring and motorbikes? off they went. Okay. Jimmy and Casey jumped back in the car. Casey said, of? just a few more days and we'll be stinking rich. Stinking both rich. laughed. But you just lost 20000 <laughs> When those guys tell my dad that we've both been kidnapped, he'll deposit $2 million into your offshore account Two. in less than a minute. What? $2 million in your offshore account? <laughs> Who has $2 million just lying around? Uh, I guess some people do. But shit, man, if my kid went missing, do you think I'm going to sacrifice $2 million for that dumb little shit? In less than a minute. Oh, my God. Damn fool. Damn Did fool. Did I hear correctly? Did Was I my correct? brother planning his own kidnapping? Oh, my God. And now he wants to blackmail my dad for $2 million? Dollars? I knew my dad was a really wealthy <laughs> businessman. That's Aww. probably why Casey married him after my mom passed away. Yep, she's going to go Because she definitely hole. didn't love him. Damn. I had to do something. Bro. But what could I do? What Stuck in this trunk. Stuck in this I had trunk. to get out. A few moments later, out. Jimmy and Casey stopped at a hotel. Okay. The GPS Ugh. watch said it was the Sun Lake Hotel. They oh, took their God. bags from the car's back seat and went inside. Uh oh. I had to get out of this trunk. I, I remember a documentary trunk. where they demonstrated how to get out of one when what? you've been kidnapped. What? I couldn't quite remember how to do it. What? I started fiddling around with the wires. What? A shock went through my body. Uh I got electrocuted. I got electro <laughs> How is she only just remembering this documentary now? Okay, it's been like, what, 12 hours or some shit? Okay, now she's she's figuring it out how to, what, bite wires? How is there randomly some wires there? I got electrocuted. I got electrocuted. I think I passed out for a few minutes. Bruh. The taste of Jeez. copper wires was really oh. good. What? So I bit through them again. <laughs> and then they, <laughs> oh, it does taste nice. Though. <laughs> so I bit through them again, and voila, voila. the oh, trunk opened. Be, okay, Cautiously, I closed. Climbed out of the trunk. Cautiously? The hotel looked very sketchy. Ugh. I could see Jimmy and Casey checking into a hotel room. Damn. They were standing in the entrance of the hotel. They so, got their keys from the front is it desk. Just money? 69 is their room key. That's nice. Jimmy was holding Casey around her waist. Ugh. And then they kissed. Ugh. Like proper kissing. Like a proper not kiss. Not a friendly stepmom, stepson kind of kiss. <laughs> not a friend not a friendly stepmom, stepson kind of kiss. But like a proper kissing. Like proper kissing. Not Ugh. a friendly stepmom, stepson kind, kind of, of kiss. Is that? They were 
together. They were like, like a couple. Together. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. And they've probably been doing this behind my dad's back for months. Oh my God. Now they want to blackmail him. Now they, oh my God. We had to do something about it. We had to do something. I waited for them to go okay. up to their room. There and we then go. I would make a dash to the nearest phone. Finally. Just as I She's was about to ask someone. the desk assistant if I could borrow his phone. Jesus. I could hear the sound of loud motor bicycles roaring. Roaring. The only place I could hide oh was God. in the trunk. Oh, and so great. I no. jumped back in. He went back in the, the bad trunk. The men on their motorbikes parked right <laughs> next to the car. Their voices uh. were a bit muddled underneath the loud noise of their motorbike. Uh -huh. The guy who works at the reception came walking towards them. Uh -huh. I could hear the one bad guy say, oh. We want to know every move they make. Every breath I take. I had right. to warn my brother. The, the motorbike sound disappeared in the distance. Uh -huh. Again, I tried to get out of the trunk. Uh -huh. Just as I stepped outside, Jimmy and Casey were walking out of the hotel. No. They were holding hands and Ugh. kissing. Ugh. Gross. Gross. They were probably going out for a late dinner. Oh, I had no choice dinner? but to get back into the trunk. Sounds if good. If I wanted to warn my brother, I had to approach him when Casey wasn't around. Damn. While they were eating dinner, I decided to finally get out of the trunk. Finally. I looked like a homeless person, but <laughs> didn't care who saw me. I slipped into the restaurant and dashed past everyone eating. I wow. made my way Even... into the men's restroom. Okay. I waited in one of the stalls for my brother. Ugh. He was bound to use the little boy's room in a few minutes. It's a little boy's room. I peeked room. <laughs> underneath the stall door to see my brother. Finally, he came into the restroom. Okay. I unlocked my stall door, opened oh. it up, and pulled him in. Whoa. He was so shocked. What are you Haley, doing here? Haley, what are you doing here? What are you here? doing here? I could ask you the same question. Yeah. What the hell are you doing with Casey? You doing? Yeah. Are you two together? Are you two How together? How can you do this to dad? To dad? Haley, you don't know anything. I love uh, Casey. And what? you don't know what she's capable of. Yeah, clearly. It was as if Casey <laughs> had a magic spell over my brother. Ugh. He said, I don't um, know how you got here, but if I were you, I would go home now. How what? could I go home yeah, when we were halfway <laughs> across the country? My brother looked at me and said, Be safe. I'm going to Be pretend safe. that I didn't see you I'm here. I wanted to shake him, but what? he left. My eyes started tearing up. What? My brother just saved me. What? How, how did he save you? Save you from what? I had to save what? him. I what? couldn't let them get away. Okay. I snuck out of the restaurant and oh, back into the trunk. Uh -huh. I had to follow them. No time to waste. Damn. After dinner, they started the car's engine and drove off. Uh huh. Just when I thought we would go back to the hotel, uh -huh. my brother and my stepmom decided to take a detour at a scenic point. Aww. Things got a bit steamy in Ugh. the car. It was so uncomfortable. Ugh. Finally, after hours, they stopped hours? the car back at the hotel um, and went up to their room. Geez, the sun was rising already. Now was my chance. Okay. I jumped out of the trunk and ran towards the front desk. Uh -huh. Can I please, please, please borrow your phone? Luckily, the guy agreed. He was too tired to worry anyway. Why didn't she do this My earlier? dad answered the phone. Sweetheart, is that you? Why didn't she Are do you this okay? earlier? Yes, dad, but something horrible is yes, going to dad. happen. I told my uh, dad what Casey and Jimmy were planning. Damn. My dad jumped into action. Haley, where are you? I'm at the Sun Lake Hotel in Sun City. Sun my dad City? said, that's halfway across the country. Yes, Are you wearing that watch I gave you? <laughs> yes, it told me where I was. Push the green button at the top of it. Oh. Now you'll be able to share your location. Oh, Make sure you convenient. follow your brother and Casey. Wow. I'm coming. Wow. I could hear my brother and Casey laughing and How's coming down come? the stairs. I put the phone down on the front desk and ran to the car, where I jumped in the trunk again. <laughs> oh, for the little light sake, on my watch was trunk. flashing. Uh -huh. They drove to a secluded area where they met the dangerous men. Casey Damn. had a laptop on her lap. The men said, Okay, you two, we're going to make the call. But as soon as the old man transfers the money, 50% is ours. 50%? What? No way! What? They got into dollars? a big fight. It sounded like the bad man punched my brother. What? Casey yelled, Okay, okay, just do it. So it was meant to be a fake kidnapping, and now it's turned into a real one. <laughs> yeah, well, if there's uh, $2 million on the line, <laughs> what is this story, guys? Okay, okay just do okay, it. Just the do man it. told everyone to oh keep God. quiet as yeah, he dialed up. my dad. Damn. The bad man told my dad that he captured his wife and his son. What the? And for a ransom of $2 million, Two? he will let them go. Are you mad? I could tell that my dad agreed immediately. What? The man read Not the me. bank details. A notification what? went off. What? The guy forced Casey and Jimmy into their van. <laughs> We're not letting you go until we get our share. <laughs> At that moment, police sirens approached. 
Oh. My dad phoned the Sun City police. Good. Thank goodness. Finally. They were here to save us. Oh my God. I jumped out of the car's trunk. Yay. Free at last. Yeah. The van drove off at speed. All right. The police drove as fast as they could. Okay, but after good. a three hour high him? speed chase, Casey what? and Jimmy were gone. What? A day later, they, they found my brother tied up in front of the police station. What? He later told police that Casey ran off with the bad guy. Oh! She immediately transferred the $2 million, what? so the bank couldn't reverse it. What? Jimmy and my dad were taken for a fool. <laughs> Needless to say, $2 million didn't even make a dent in my dad's fortune. So? As for my dumb brother, he had to do one-year community service. What? After Casey what to left, the girl? everything went back to normal. How? And we were a happy family again. How, <laughs> How are you a happy family? Your dad just lost his, his his wife, all right, because she stole his money. Your brother is now doing community service for a whole year. You're two million dollars down. How are you just going to go back to normal? What the sh was that story? This girl didn't even get caught. And how did the police not catch them after a three hour uh, car ride? I don't understand. Okay, let's watch. Uh, I hid under my parents' bed and I saw everything. Oh my God. Hi, huh. my name is Ezra. I have two older brothers, and or older should brothers. I say, had two older brothers, what the? since they uh, are no longer living with us. Oh, rest in peace, brothers. Rest in peace, okay? I miss my brother so much. Since they are no longer living with us. Damn. I had no idea where they went, and my For parents what? refused to give me a straight answer. So they didn't die. They just went away somewhere. So you still have brothers. <laughs> you just don't know where they are. When I ask, I always oh. get, they went to stay with your grandparents, or oh. it doesn't matter anymore, they're gone. Oh. I remember the last time what? I saw my oldest brother, Matthew. Your my father and him were having a big fight. Oh. The next day, my brother disappeared. <gasps> His room was empty, and my parents acted like everything was normal. What? And when I asked about Matthew, they said he'll be back soon, but, but he never did. But he never did. The same thing happened nearly three weeks Sick. later with my older brother, Adam. What? Except that there was no fight with him. Yeah, where'd he go? He was just here one day and gone the next. Aww. I kept asking what had happened to them, but they just kept avoiding the entire conversation. <laughs> I didn't understand why they wouldn't answer me. I just wanted to know. I missed my brothers, and while Aww. I was trapped in my own head wondering what could have happened to them, yeah, I what? started to notice something else. Uh oh, you're My next. parents were <gasps> avoiding me. Like oh. I didn't even exist. <laughs> I would walk into a room and they would stop talking or oh. abruptly start a new conversation. What? Or even a few times, they would simply stop what they were doing, get up and walk out of the room. <laughs> yeah, this just sounds like my relationship with my parents, guys. All right. They just don't want to talk to me anymore. I don't know what the hell happened. After my second brother disappeared, <laughs> I decided that was it. I want to uh, call the police, but when the police arrived oh, at our home, what? my parents managed to convince them that they had no other children but me. What? They even showed them fake uh, documents that stated that. Uh oh. And they also claimed that I was crazy. <laughs> the police believed them and left. No. I thought that now after police the police gonna... <laughs> left, my parents would tell me something, <laughs> anything. Oh, Get no. mad for calling them or react, but again, they did nothing. They did nothing? So I oh, went to my room. Take care of you. I felt so lonely without my brothers. Oh. I sprawled out on my bed and stared at the ceiling. What? I had to figure out what the hell was going on. What the hell is going on? I thought of a plan. Oh, here we go. The only way to figure out what was happening was to what my parents were saying while they were alone. Uh huh. So the plan was that I would sneak into their bedroom and oh. hide underneath their bed before they went in there to ah. go to sleep. And I would just sneak out after they fell asleep. Oh, God. Seems foolproof, right? Foolproof. Maybe this way I could get some answers <laughs> about what was going on. <laughs> Later that day, all three of us sat at the table and ate our dinner in silence. Uh oh. Which is how every meal went for the last month or so. Okay, so. Nobody looked at anything other than our plates as we shoveled the mediocre meatloaf into our mouths. <laughs> After I finished mine, I excused myself and went back to my room. What's the point of waited. eating together? They then? always went to bed at the same time every day. So um, I knew it wouldn't be hard to get in there and into position under the bed before they came up to go to sleep. What the It was hell? almost time for my parents to come up to bed. Uh -oh. So I crept into their bedroom, being sure not to creak any boards that uh -huh. they might hear downstairs, and crawled underneath their bed. It was a tight fit. The air uh -huh. was thick with dust, and after uh. the bed skirt was down and in place, the darkness was absolute. Oh. Now all there was left to do was wait. So I okay. waited. And so waited. I wait. And, I and wait. eventually, I fell asleep. Okay. It was weird they didn't come to bed when they normally did. But when they did finally come to bed and my father climbed into bed, I woke up. Ugh. I could hear them talking, but it was the end of the conversation. 
Um, that would definitely work, my mother said, sounding happy. Uh-oh. But I think we should try something a little less drastic. What? What in the hell were they talking about? What in about? the hell are they talking about? Yeah, you're right, my father replied. <laughs> we'll try to figure something else out. <laughs> okay. I heard the sound of a quick kiss. Uh. The bed creaked as my father got uh. comfortable. Oh. And then there was nothing but breathing, and in between each breath, okay. an echoing silence. <laughs> After I knew that they were asleep, I quietly made my way out of the bedroom and right. back to my room. So you had nothing. Lying in bed, I tried to figure out what they could have been talking about. Okay. The next day, I decided that I was going to hide underneath their bed again, <laughs> and not fall asleep this time. <laughs> when I got under there, and they finally came to bed, okay. they never mentioned anything out of the ordinary. I was right. going to figure this out what and didn't care time. if I had to crawl under there every single night <laughs> until I could find out what was going on. I just needed to know. This went right. on for close to a week before they mentioned anything relating to whatever was so drastic. You did this for a week? We could always just ship them off to a military school, what? my mother said as they walked into the bedroom. Uh-oh. That could work. No, 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 Wait, no. is this where my brothers went? Oh. Yeah, but the only problem with that is when he gets done with school, they're just going to ship him back. My father answered. They're going to get rid of me. I know, but we have to figure something out, We're my mother said. Out. And I know that you don't want to do anything as drastic as what happened before. Uh -oh. I like it more than I like the others. I heard oh, my father sigh deeply. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but we can't keep doing this. It's draining us out. <laughs> What's going on? I felt my father shift his weight above me. Uh. Listen, get some sleep. Um. I heard the kissing sound again. <laughs> Try not to think about it. After I got back to my bedroom, I tried to piece together what I had heard. Okay. My parents did something to my brothers. Of course. I don't know what it was, but right. I was starting to get the feeling that they weren't staying with my grandparents like they said. <laughs> the next few nights were uneventful, and they didn't bring anything new up, but something weird started happening. Come on. My parents were being nice to me. Uh -oh. I found both of them staring at me with a smile on their faces, uh -oh. and their eyes lost in a daydream. No. They would get up and leave the room, and I would be left with a creepy feeling. <laughs> After nearly two weeks of hiding in their bedroom, um, I still had no answer. When I got home from school, I was surprised to see a birthday cake waiting for me. What? My parents then said, happy 18th birthday. 18? I was confused. Um, My birthday was in eight months, and they knew it. <laughs> I started asking questions. <laughs> And they said that they forgot to tell me that I had always celebrated my birthday on the wrong date. I was beyond disturbed. Yeah, what kind of and creepy... And then I saw a military what? bus arriving. My parents handed me some bags oh. and said that they have prepared this surprise for me. That I was going to join the military Damn, school. Damn, I said ruined. that I wasn't going. I wasn't going. But then two huge men got out of the what? bus Is and they came legal? to grab me inside. So I that? ran. What? I ran as fast as I could down he, the street, never looking back. <laughs> I ran and I ran till I couldn't run anymore. Uh, I sat down on the curb and looked down the street in the direction I came. No one was following me. No one was following me. A car drove by me and pulled over next to me. Uh -huh. It was a police officer. Uh -oh. He asked what I was doing here. Uh oh. I could have told him that my parents were evil and they were planning to get rid of me like they did with my brothers. Uh oh. But I knew the police would believe my parents like they did last time. Oh my god. I don't know what's got me, but I decided to run from the police too. <laughs> uh oh, you can't do that. <laughs> it just felt like the whole world was against me. <laughs> but of course, the police got me. Oh. I was taken into investigation. Bruh. They said that I was acting suspiciously because I refused to cooperate. <laughs> but then they wanted to call Stupid my parents police. to come pick me up. Oh no. I started crying, begging no. them not to. That's when I started talking. Shit. I told them about everything that had happened with me. Everything. About my brothers who disappeared. Yeah. And how my parents had all the fake documents needed to get away with it. Yeah. That's when the police decided to open up a secret investigation Ooh. to see what my parents were up to. Great. And I had to cooperate with them. I had. The police started looking into my parents' records. <sighs> all right. And to my shock, the records stated that they had adopted three boys 17 years ago. Adopted? The boys' names were Jacob jasper and eddie i was Whoa. confused for a moment but then it started to make sense these what? boys were me and my two brothers <laughs> well obviously <laughs> obviously what <laughs> oh my god but these were not our names yeah the well, officer then said that the them. three brothers were born in the same month which um, was super weird super weird. i thought that my brothers and i were different ages oh my god why haven't they told us that we were adopted and why they changed um, our names and birthdays. I was baffled. Okay. The police then asked me if I could help them discover more. 
That's when they offered that I go back to my parents' house and wear a wire under my clothes. A wire? I didn't hesitate, and I said yes. <laughs> the next day, I wore the wire, and I went knocking on my parents' door <laughs> while an undercover you police car waited outside. When my parents opened the door, they were surprised to see me. <laughs> I went in, and then I started asking them questions. Yeah, come on. I told them I knew about the whole adoption thing, that Ooh. they lied about our ages and our names, and I demanded that they come clean. Yeah, come on. Both of them seemed surprised that I had found all of this out. And for the first time, I saw them lose their cool. Oh. They started arguing with each other. How they had it under control until they went too easy on me. <laughs> I interrupted them and yelled, just tell me the truth. <laughs> That's when my father, with his angry tone, started shouting. Oh. You were so stupid not to figure it all out all of these years. What? Your two brothers knew years ago. Oh. Then he told me with anger that yes, we were adopted. Okay. They had only adopted us to get social and income benefits, oh, which their lawyer had set up. Bruh. Actually, they had made off of it a quarter million dollars. What the? Their plan was to let us go as soon as we turned 18 without exposing their illegal adoption. <laughs> That's why they tricked one of my brothers into working abroad um, after they sent him an email claiming to be a known company. And as for my other brother, what? they lied to him and said his real parents were millionaires who live in South Africa. Um, and now he's out there looking for them. <laughs> As for me, the plan was to send me off to the military and cut all contact with me and what? move to another country. What? I couldn't believe it. So they have scammed me my whole life. <laughs> Tears were running down my cheeks. I wanted to get out of there. But that's when my father yelled, um, Where do you think you're going with all these secrets? Uh -oh. You will be spending some time in the basement. Basement? And before I knew it, what? he grabbed me aggressively. Uh my alleged mother started helping him get me under control. What? But that's when the police broke in and they stopped them. Oh, yeah. He's still wearing a After wire. that, both of them got locked up and the oh. police closed down the investigation. Great. However, I'm still searching for my brothers. Damn. And I hope I'll find them one day. What the sh**? This makes no sense. I mean, I get it. I understand. <laughs> they, want to, they want to adopt kids so they get some money from the government. But <laughs> they, they were looking after you there for your whole life. Oh my god. I, I'm never going to get that time back from my life. I just sat through here just to find out that... One of them went to some city and one of them went to Africa. That's that, That's it. All right, guys, uh, these story animations, they just make no sense, guys. Okay, and honestly, you know, if you guys want to subscribe to my animation channel, Mesh Sub Animations, I was thinking my next animation is going to be a story time of the time. Uh, I, 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 I'll save it, guys. All right, so go subscribe to my animation channel. And, uh, yeah, you'll see a uh, story time animation by me. Either way, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to myself.com if you want to get the plushie or book. Either way, though, I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.